My name is Nicole Fisher. This is Padilla Bay Farm. We're opening a CSA this summer, and this is one of our lambs that was just born this winter. So um, a CSA is called Community Supported Agriculture, and what it means is that the farmer and the, um, the eaters, the, the members, take on the risk together because sometimes your crops don't do very well or one part of them does and other parts do. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna provide meat and eggs and vegetables um, to members that want to join. Um, I guess it's important to say that most farms in Skagit Valley are small farms. Um, and so we're going to be joining the ranks of those small farms with our lambs and our pork and our eggs and um, all the vegetables and fruit we're going to grow. a Nova Gen chick from Jenks Hatchery in Oregon. And they're one of the oldest hatcheries in the United States. Um, and I like to order from them, especially in the winter because they're so much closer and my chicks don't have to be in the cold shipping uh, for a long time. But this is a Nova Gen chick. It's a little girl chick and she is gonna lay amazing, amazing eggs. She's gonna be one of my best, uh, highest producing uh, hens. This is a silky chicken. People keep them because uh, they are really good at hatching out eggs. And they're an old breed of chicken and they're from Asia. They have an extra toe. Come and see if I can get it for you. There you go. They have an extra toe and they have feathered feet. And even though this chick is white in color, underneath its skin is black. And even inside of it, like its organs are all black. They don't, people don't usually eat them, but in some places they're considered to be a delicacy because they have black organs and black skin. But anyway, I keep them um, because they're so good at hatching eggs. That makes it uh, so I don't have to buy new chicks every year. I guess I've been doing this for about 10 years and it just like grew on itself. Like I started out with a vegetable garden and chickens and then I was like, there was more that I wanted to do. So then I like raised pigs for five years. Um, and this year I added sheep and we moved to 11 acres so that I was able to um, do more have a way bigger chicken uh, flock, I have sheep that are growing, um, and I have uh, like almost a full acre of garden. Sometimes when the ewes are having a lamb, um, the lamb gets stuck. Maybe it's turned the wrong way or it's too big. And then I'm the farmer, so it's my job to put on this really big glove and help the mom get the baby out. So this is a, just a huge glove so that I don't get uh, sheep goo on me. And I help pull the lamb out. I had to pull out two lambs this year. Uh, this is a lamb puller. So sometimes if you have big hands or if the lamb is really stuck, you have to put this in and put the lamb's head in it and its legs and then the farmer holes on this end to pull the lamb out. This is something that we use a lot. Uh, it's a lamb sling. I don't think I'm gonna, these lambs are all too active now to get, for me to get in. Well, I'm gonna try. Nope, she's gone. Okay, so this is a lamb sling and its little head goes right here. And maybe that your lamb gets born like out in the field and you need to move it in uh, to the barn. So you put its head in here and then you have to hold it low to the ground and uh, the mom will smell the lamb and it will follow the lamb into the barn. But if you pick it up, it's too high and the mom can't smell it. So it's gotta be right here. The mom will follow the scent of its lamb wherever you take it. This is our ram, his name is Ringo. He's the father of most of the lambs out there. Um, this guy, he's not gonna stay. Um, I thought originally that he might, but he's not doing, like every farm has a different way that they feed and like what they feed. And I'm not entirely based on grass and pasture, but I lean towards that more than grain. And the place that he came from leaned more towards grain. And he just isn't, he and his lambs are not performing the way that I want them to perform with the way I feed. Shovels. <laughs> nice. 
in the Jeep here. The grown-up Jeep, not the baby Jeep. In case you were wondering. <laughs>